the main idea behind this project um, at a high level is looking at sort of standard laboratory equipment that's used in chemistry laboratories and biology laboratories. Um, and this equipment is often fairly sophisticated and unfortunately very expensive. Um, and so we look at some of these technologies and see if there are ways that we can build simpler, cheaper versions, especially by using uh, more modern technologies that are now available. So to start off with, um, these are the samples that we're actually running PCR on. They have a little bit of DNA and some other chemicals. And we have a little sample holder on the side that you slide these into. It's an aluminum block mounted on top of a what's called a Peltier junction that actually does the heating and cooling. And close that up. And on the top here, you can see that there's a little circle. This is actually a viewing window. So while this is running, we'll use a tablet to basically monitor and control our system. So what I did is I wrote a custom uh, Android app that will basically connect to the system over Bluetooth and uh, allow the user to set some parameters as to what kind of PCR you're running and then later collect data. So this is what the samples actually look like to the tablet. So you can see each of these green dots represents a sample except for one of them which is for temperature measurement. Um, and the tablet can actually go through and analyze these dots to determine how green it is so that it determines relative fluorescence and that's what we're actually measuring. The coolest thing about this project was the mix of all of the skills that are needed to do it. And designing a project from uh, start to finish really gives you a lot of skills that you don't normally get with lab projects or class projects. It was a research project, so the end goal of it was just to add to the general knowledge base. And in doing that, we published it to a conference and then uh, went to that conference, which was really cool. For me, going to the conference um, really opened my eyes to like the depth of the field, like how many different things you could do, especially when you pursue graduate school. Um, there's a lot of different areas that are very specific that you can go into. And it really encouraged me specifically to go into graduate school in the future.